Brad Nessler joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreet. And a little chill in the air for tonight's matchup between the Tennessee Volunteers and the Crimson Tide of Alabama. This annual rivalry between two SEC schools is better known as the third Saturday in October. And here comes the Crimson Tide. The Volunteers come into this game expecting a win. I tend to agree with that. How about you, Herbie? Tennessee features one of the best cover corners in the nation, and I'm looking for him to have a big day. When I say a big day, that means we probably won't even say his name because they won't throw his way. They're my pick today. I like it, Kirk. That's an excellent pick. I hope the court chair is ready for yet another volunteer win. Turnable. Number 22 fields it in the end zone. This quarterback is the leader of this team, but he's going to need some help from his offensive line today as they go up against a very good pass rush. You got that right, Brad. He's the focal point of this offense, and the defensive line knows it. They're going to be coming after him hard today. When you're as good as this kid is at playing quarterback, there's definitely a bullseye painted on your chest. We'll see how he handles the pressure. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on their own 17. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass, steps up, pressure coming. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Under relentless pressure, the quarterback goes down for the sack. Those guys on defense are just pinning their ears back right now and coming in as fast as they can. Well, in that case, the offense needs to sneak in a screen pass and ahead. Let him get behind the rush and hit Take off behind his blockers for six. Number 12 with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Picked off. Boy, the defense put the pressure on and forced the bad throw. And you got that one right. Anytime he outfits his one of those big guys looking to knock his head off, his brain is telling him one thing. Just throw it. Well, he did, Lee. He did throw it, but he's got to throw it away, not to the other team. They'll get the ball here at the 31. Tennessee comes out of the shotgun. Here's the give. Has some daylight. And down he goes. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the hole. First and ten. They're in the red zone. High formation here. He drops back. Throws. In and out of his hand. Dropped by the wideout. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 19. The ball come out showing three wide. The Volunteer line up with three wide. Here's a pitch left side. He's gobbled up in the backfield. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. 
Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on the 23-yard line. Number 10 comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. He's looking. Throws down the middle. Off his hands, incomplete. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Trying to take the lead by a field goal. Here comes the special teams unit. The kick is up. And it sails through the upright. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac. Fuel for the soul. Tennessee to kick. He boots it deep downfield. Number four fields it in the end zone. I know the first thing I wanted to do after throwing a pick was to come out that next drive and throw. Let the defense know that I wasn't intimidated. And how many times did you go right back in there and throw another pick? I mean, as you know, a quarterback needs a short memory, so I really don't remember, Scooter. You know better than that. <laughs> Tries to shoot. Tackle. The halfback runs for four yards. Gain of four on the play. Second and six. Ball on the 21. The tide. Go with the eye formation. They go with the run. Little shake and bake move. And he's tackled. Five-yard pickup for the tailback. Five-yard gain on the play. Third down and a yard. Ball on the 26. The Crimson Tide come out in a two-tight end set. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the right. He's got it. They'll bring him down. First and ten, ball on the 47-yard line. Three, it's three, it's on four. Hot. Again with a carry. Tackle. The halfback picks up a yard. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. Alabama lines up in a double tight set. Pullback, handoff. And they make the stop. Five yards. Five yard gain on the play. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. They line up in an eye. He drops back. Throws this one out to the right. Number 24 with the interception. And a great set of hands by the defender on that one. How about that, Kurt? We spent the whole week talking to some of his teammates, and no one told us he could catch like that. You're right, Coach. I wonder if this guy played both ways in high school. They'll go to work at the 23-yard line. And they have three receivers bunched. On the ground with the tailback. 
They'll drop him for a loss. That blitz couldn't have worked any better for the defense or any worse for the offense. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. And he's hammered as he lets it go. Good time to bring the pressure. Yeah, I like it because even if you can't come up with a sack, just let the quarterback know you're coming and make him feel your presence. Sometimes that's just as effective as a sack. Third and 11. Ball on their own 22. The Volunteer. Go with the eye formation. Drops back to pass. Short toss. And it's caught. And he's tackled. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down. So the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. Tennessee, ready to put this one away. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Number four calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 22. I'm sure the coach has talked to his team about not turning the ball over again in this possession. They'll start this drive at the 22-yard line. Alabama lines up with three receivers. Inside handoff. Tackle. And the halfback ripped off a nice gain there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good-looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. It's first and 10. Ball on the 34. They'll throw on first down. He tosses it short, and it's incomplete. He overthrew his tight end. I know the tight end has a little more height than the wideouts, but give me a break. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 34. Ace backfield. the ground with the tailback and he's taken down pickup of a yard for the tailback one yard gain on the play it's third down and nine to go ball on the 35 and that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score Tennessee three Alabama nothing Third and nine. Ball on the 35-yard line. The tie. Come out showing three wide. He drops back. Looks. He's going right. That is ball. Fantastic play by the cornerback. All you young defensive backs at home. That is how you play defense. They're ready to punt this one away. Number 25 gets it off. Number 33 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 21. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? Did they have the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow ball replay to recap. Back in the gun. Back to pass. He tosses it short. The senior makes the catch. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. 
It's first and ten. Ball on their own 33. Tennessee comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. On the ground with the tailback. Brought down. A two-yard run by the halfback. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 35. Tennessee lines up in a bunch formation. Again, he'll get the call. Makes a move. They'll bring him down. A nice six-yard gain by the tailback there. Gain of six on the play. Third and two coming up here. Ball on their own 41. Tennessee lines up in a goal line set. They'll try to get the first on the ground. They attempted to pick up the first by running it, and they failed. Yeah, and the defensive line won that battle easily. Ready to put this one away. Number 80 punts it, and it's a good one. Number four calls for the fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The defense did a good job against them the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But remember, they had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. They'll set up shot at the 20. And the leader of the defense at corner is in the zone right now. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And they make the stop. They'll get two on that one. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on their own 22. Alabama lines up for the shotgun set. He steps up. He's looking for his man. High pass, and it's caught! Wow, nice catch. Way to look it in. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. Ball on the 26. Yeah. Alabama sets up with four receivers. Again with a carry. He jukes. He tries to spin. Brought down. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. This is the kind of running back who can make you pay when he's in the zone. They'll give it off here. And they'll score. Well-designed play to get the halfback into the end zone. Hey, for this guy, it doesn't matter how it's drawn up. He can make his own play as he goes along. That was an ice run. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac.
Alabama ready to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number 21 fields it at the two. He's hit and got away. So the offense takes over. And they'll try to figure out this defense. As they forced them to punt the last time they had the ball. They'll get the ball here at the 22. Tennessee comes out with two tight ends. Spins up field. And he's tackled. The running back gets two on the carry. Tennessee calls a timeout. About two minutes before halftime. The Volunteers line up with three wide. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Alabama takes a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on their own 23. Tennessee comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Steps up, looking. He's in trouble, and they get the sack. The Crimson Tide are going to take a timeout. That was their second timeout. it off number four fields it at the 41 a little juke time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive they'll take over at the 45 Comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. He drops back. Throws it to the outside. Someone got a hand on it. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kirk, but you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and it passes within arm's length away, you knock it down. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 45. Back to pass. He's looking. Steps up in the pocket. Throws down the middle. And he's taken down. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. Number 12 has four receivers lined up here. Throws it deep downfield. And he's shoved out of bounds. The throw to the wide receiver goes for a touchdown. That kid looks like a natural receiver out there. Well, you could say he's from a good pedigree when it comes to football. I think his father's taught him very well. on the extra point. So here's the Pontiac drive summary to recap what just happened. Number 
21. And number 33, back to return. Kicks it off. Number 21, fields it at the two. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll start this drive at the 20. The ball set up in the gun. Drops back to pass. Throws short. Complete. They'll bring him down. Gain of two. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 22-yard line. They come out in a nickel. He drops back. Rolls to the right. Looks. Let's it go. And he can't make the catch. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. It's third down and eight to go. Ball in their own 22. Tennessee comes out in the shotgun. Here's a counterplay. And they make the stop. Alabama calls a timeout. Come out, it's fourth down. Number 80 gets it off. Number four fields it at the 34. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll go to work at the 36. Alabama comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Back to pass. Looking. He steps up. He's going left. And he's shoved out of bounds. And they get five yards from that completion. Second down and five. Ball on the 41. Alabama sets up with four receivers. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. Got hit as he threw. And that one's fallen incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. It's third down and five to go. Ball on their own 41. The Tide come out in the ace formation. He drops back. Looks across the middle. Way to look it in. Now that is close. I wasn't sure where they were going to spot the football. I think he just barely got it. That's a great job by both the quarterback and receiver to keep this drive alive. Number 34 wants the ball. We'll see if they give it to him. They'll make the sack. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break. Alabama, 14. Tennessee, 3. Got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Kicks it off. Number 33 has it at the five. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. No 
They'll get the ball here at the 30. They line up in an eye. On the ground with the tailback. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great example of quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 28. The ball. Go with the eye formation. They hand off on the counter. Brought down. A two-yard run by the halfback. It's third down and ten. Ball on their own 30. Tennessee lines up in a bunch formation. Back to pass. Short toss. Has it to the senior. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Well, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. Number 80 punts it, and it's a good one. And this one's going to go out of bounds at the 17. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 22. And this impact linebacker is fired up down there. And he's going to lose yards on this one. And they stop the halfback for a loss. And let me tell you something. That toss play had no chance whatsoever. Defense was all over it. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 20. The Tide line up in an eye formation. Little handoff. And he has room to rumble at the point. Oh, so close to breaking it. How do you like that run? I'll tell you what, if you're the defensive coach, you don't like it at all. In fact, you're probably disgusted. No doubt. That big fullback made this defense look bad on that play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 49. They line up in an eye. They'll drop him for a loss. Great play, taking him down behind the line of scrimmage. Man, he shot out of his stance like a cannon and exploded into the backfield. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on their own 48. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. They get him out there on the top. And he's going to throw. Fumble, loose ball, and the offense will recover. The offense is lucky to retain possession after that fumble. The coach can't be happy with the way the running back is carrying the football. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball on the 40-yard line. Number 12 is the impact player, and he's feeling it right now. Drops back to pass. He's going right. And it falls incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. They line up to punt this one away. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And it's out of bounds at the 16-yard line. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. 
They'll start this drive at the 21-yard line. High formation here. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. And it's caught. Broke away from one. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That's a loss of four yards. Second down and 14. Ball on their own 17. Tennessee goes with the ace set here. There's a miscast, and he's hit hard. Oh, man. He'll feel that one in the morning. That's called making a statement. When you get into the backfield like that and put somebody on their back, it really sends a message. didn't want to get in. Ball on the 15. Number 21 is dangerous. Let's see if they put the ball in his hands. He drops back. He's looking down the middle. It's dropped. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. going to go out of bounds at the 46. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. But Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're going to look to do the same here. The Crimson Tide come out in the ace formation. It all starts with the battle of foot. I don't care how good your receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, Coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. Number 34, alone in the backfield. Back to pass. Looking, and he's hit as he throws. It's high, and he makes the catch. Move those sticks. That's a first down. And a great catch, too. Did you see how he looked that one in? Oh, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. Ten. They're inside the 20. Nickel defense. They'll throw on first down. Rosen has got the screen set up. They'll drop in for a loss. Drop back four yards on that one. Second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. This impact tailback would love nothing more than to have the ball in his hands right now. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Across the middle. And he can't hang on to it. The tailback dropped that ball. And his technique was all off. He's got to do a better job next time.
Third and 14 coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. The defense lines up with six DB. He's looking. He's going left. He goes up and gets it. It's a touchdown. And that's a second time today these guys have been able to hook up for the score. Boy, he really looks comfortable in that end zone, doesn't he? And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. Takes it at the four. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 21. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. They'll throw on first down. And that one's fallen incomplete. That's what a good pass rush can do for you. Yep, they got in the quarterback's face and made it tough on him to throw a good pass. Second and 10, ball on the 21. And the impact linebacker has turned it up a notch. Keep it on the ground with the tailback. And he's stopped behind the line. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Alabama 21, Tennessee 3. Third down and 12 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. Number 10 with three wide receivers. He drops back. He steps up, looks. He lets it go. It falls incomplete. He had it knocked loose before he could control it. Just a great play here by the defender to force the issue. one away. It's off and it is a dandy. Number four takes it to 32. Juku. They're ready to start another drive hoping to duplicate the results of the last one which ended in a touchdown. They'll set up shot at the 36 yard line. The defense lines up with six DBs. They'll throw on first down. Throws. Complete. That'll be a gain of three yards. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 39-yard line. to pass. He passes it, and it's caught. 
And they back up three yards on that play. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 36. Alabama comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Looking. Wants to throw outside. Couldn't haul it in. The big guy let it go through his fingers. The tight end's hands are all torn up and his knuckles are swollen from blocking every day in practice. You've got to give this guy a break. I don't know about that, Coach. Nowadays, tight end's got to be able to do more than just block. He should have caught that ball. The tide. Line up the punt. Number 25 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 33 takes it to 14. Oh, man, did he take a hit. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 18. Tennessee sets up in the eye. And they make the stop. And the fullback plows ahead for maybe a yard. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. They line up in a double tight set. They run a counter. And they hit him in the backfield. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 19. And they have three receivers bunched. He drops back. Throws it to the outside. At the point. Across midfield. And he's tackled. What an amazing catch. First down. Boy, Brad, you said it. That is a big-time play there. Spectacular catch and great body control there on the long pass reception. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46. Number 10 is back in the gun. And the snap goes to the back. Has some daylight. And he's taken down. They grab eight yards there. Game of eight on the play. Second and two. Ball on the 38-yard line. The Volunteers line up in an eye formation. There's a play fake. Over the middle. His receiver has it. He's hit and got away. Brought down. That was a big-time play and a new set of downs. I think the defense might have been thinking run there, Coach. Well, I don't blame him. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. side. Throw short. Got it to the senior. That's a nice six-yard game. They better block that linebacker. He is looking to make something happen. The Volunteers line up in an eye formation. Gun. They'll throw 
again. Defense hasn't stopped them yet. And it falls incomplete. That pass falls incomplete in the end zone. Chalk that one up to the pressure in the quarterback's face. Absolutely. They had a tremendous rush coming in at him, and it was all he could do to avoid the sack. Number 21 is feeling it, and he wants the football in his hands. Throws this one out to the left. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, he had to go for it. We're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. They'll get the ball here at the seven. They line up in a double tight set. On the ground, up the middle. He juked it. They'll bring him down. A five-yard pickup for the tailback. Five-yard gain on the play. It's second down and five to go. Ball on their own 12. Alabama will line up in a jumbo set here. And they're going to play keep away and work this clock. Gain of two on the play. Third down and three coming up. Ball on the 14. Alabama comes out with three receivers bunch. Tennessee takes a timeout. Right. Alabama ready to put this one away. Number 25 hunts it, and it's a good one. Number 33, fields it at the 37. A confident defense heads out onto the field after stopping this offense on a fourth down attempt the last time they were on the field. And the last thing you want to do is to come out and do nothing again and give them even more confidence. Tennessee comes out of the shotgun. He drops back, steps up in the pocket. He unloads it. Complete. Tennessee calls a timeout. Second and seven, ball on the 46. The Volunteer, line up with three wide. He steps up, looks, he's going left. He took his eyes off the ball and dropped it. You gotta squeeze that ball, then think about where you're gonna go. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 46 yard line. Nickel defense. Back to pass. Down the middle. And it's caught. They'll bring him down. Single set back to you. Drop back to pass. Throws it out there. Complete. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Loss of about two. Two tight end set. He drops back. Throws off balance. And it's intercepted. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there.
will take over at the 18. Number 12 is in the zone and looking to make a play. There's the kneel down by the quarterback. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. Alabama is about ready to celebrate a big victory here. This one's in the books, folks. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? I don't know about you guys, but I was pretty darn impressed with this bunch of kids. Alabama came out here very focused, and they took care of business. Nice, nice win for this football team. Well, that'll wrap up another chapter in NCAA Football 2006. And our final count, Alabama 21, Tennessee 3. So for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody, and thanks for tuning in.